Hello, I'm High Hill Knight. Welcome to my channel. This is my miniature review of Happy Death Day to You. It is a sequel to Happy Death Day. In the first movie, a young college student named Teresa, nicknamed Tree, finds herself stuck in a time loop on her birthday. On that day, there is a mysterious mass killer stalking her uh, and trying to murder her. But each time she dies, she winds up waking up at the beginning of the day and it resets. So in this movie, even though she escaped the previous time loop, she finds herself being forced back into another time loop situation, but an also uh, extra dimensional situation because the uh, events of this universe are slightly different from the one that she was coming beforehand. So not only does she has to uh, escape the loop, but she also has to make sure uh, to solve the mysteries that are involved in this universe. Now, as a critic, I am supposed to go into the movie without bias. I'm supposed to go to a movie with reasonable expectation, but not this time around. I hated the first movie. I felt it really dropped the ball. I felt it messed out on a great premise. I felt that it just ruined all types of potential. Now, I will leave a link in the description to my original uh, review for that uh, first film so you can uh, compare and contrast, and there are spoilers in that review, but this is not a story review, so I can't really go into specifics. I just gotta say that I was infuriated by the first movie. So I saw this movie for two reasons. First reason was the song In the Club by 50 Cent. In the first movie, it's implied that the song is gonna be part of the film, but it's not. It's a part of all the trailers and all the commercials and all the promos, but it wasn't in the movie at all. So I thought to myself, okay, this time around, they're putting the song in the club even more in the promo. It's throughout the full promos and materials. Like, okay, fine. Maybe there's some type of licensing or legal issue with the first time around. Now we got the second time around. We got a little bit of a bigger budget. Maybe they can get in the club in the movie. And it's still not in the movie. It's, it, it, how can you promote a song in your movie that's not in the movie? That's blatant false advertising. Okay, blatant, all right? It's one thing when, you know, trailers are slightly different from what the final product in the in, in the film is. You know, that can be frustrating. But this is blatant fault advertising at this point. So officially, I don't recommend this movie. Officially, I hate this movie. Officially, I wash my hands of this franchise if they decide to make another one, which they probably will because this movie is so cost, it's so cheap to make. They'll wind up making a lot of movie, a lot of money, just like they did the first time around. But still, officially, I wash my hands of this franchise. But as a movie itself, that leads me to the second reason why I want to see it. I felt if they dropped the ball so terribly the first time around, and now they're trying to do this concept again, but make it even more complicated, are they going to pull it off? How are they going to make uh, sense of the mess that they're stepping into? And surprisingly, it was great. It was funny. It was exciting. It was mysterious. I didn't know what was going to happen. I was so wonderful. And one of the problems that I've had about the first movie gets handled so much better in this film. I was like, why could I have gotten this the first time around? Okay, so well maybe the first time around, you know, you pitch a, a movie, the producers or whatever, and say like, okay, well, you agree like you, we got to do this, 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 and this. And so they had to do dumb it down and do this, 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 and fine. But this time around, oh, it's so much better. Or maybe because both movies had the same director, but this time around, the director is also doing, is the writer. Uh, the director is uh, Christopher Landon. He directed both movies, but this time he's directing and writing, where Scott Lobo uh, did the uh, writing first time around. So maybe uh, Christopher London is better suited for this uh, writing as well as directing. I don't know. All I know is I was laughing. I was having a good time. It was exciting. And even though it's supposed to be a horror comedy, not a horror parody like the scary movie films. This is a horror comedy. They decided to just lean on the comedy much more than a horror. And that's probably why it works a little bit better also. They tried horror the first time around and dropped the ball on that. So they said, you know what, let's just focus on the comedy and the mystery and the fun. And it was just so much better. And uh, I was really enjoying this film. I do have two complaints about this movie itself. One, there is a major plot hole 
it introduces something on the beginning of the movie and just totally drops it, totally ignores it. I'm like, uh, uh, did you guys forget about that? Because I didn't. You introduce a, a, a topic and it doesn't come up <laughs> at all. Big, big plot hole. And the other thing I did like was the end scene. There's like a semi, a big credit scene and it just sort of comes out of nowhere. And I don't know if they were trying to set up a potential third movie or just finding a weird way to end the film. The scene winds up being hilarious, but it just... Totally out of left field, totally out of nowhere. Like, what is this? What is going on? Uh, I thought it was like a, a Predator, you know, 2018 situation. But it winds up being funny, but still out of left field. But yeah, if it wasn't for the whole blatant false advertising, I would be recommending this movie. But like I said, blatant false advertising, I officially can't recommend it. But I was laughing and enjoying myself otherwise. So those are my thoughts on Happy Death Day to you. I would love to know what your thoughts were on the movie. Be sure to share whatever comments you like in the comment section. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, or dislike, share, and subscribe. Be sure to check out my review of the first movie in case you want to uh, ask questions about what I like more about this than the other. And most importantly, remember, find inspiration everywhere.